Living with Heart Failure by Crystal and Alexis. Meet Wendy Alonzo, an assistant professor in the College of Nursing, Omaha, Nebraska Division. Wendy was born and raised in Pennsylvania and currently resides in Elkhorn, Nebraska. Dr. Alonzo received her associate's degree in nursing in the early 2000s in Pennsylvania. She wanted to work somewhere that would be a challenge, so she chose a NICU. Wendy then worked for a medical device company, educating clinicians on how to use medical devices, and discovered she liked teaching. She decided to pursue her education in doing nurse practitioner program. While in the program, she took a research class and really enjoyed it. Her professor asked her if she really wanted to be a nurse practitioner. Without knowing her options, Wendy went home and did her research, pursuing her education even further and getting a PhD. Wendy began her research with pediatric palliative patients in rural areas and at the time could not emotionally handle end of life because she had children of her own. Wendy then began to work with her advisor, who was a heart failure scientist and worked with the adult population. Wendy got a call from UNMC College of Nursing for postdoctoral training that took two years. She had no idea where Nebraska was. In July 2019, she accepted the position for assistant professor. Why did Dr. Alonzo focus her research on heart failure, and why with patients living in rural areas? Um, the study that we did at the time, we were looking at the palliative care needs, so um, the supportive care needs that patients with heart failure have at the end of life. Um, it was a qualitative study, so we um, were collecting interview data. And we specifically selected patients that were predicted to die within two years. And then we interviewed them and their primary caregiver once a month for two years or until the patient died, whichever happened first. And um, I just fell in love with these people. They have so many unmet needs. Um, I'm, I grew up in a rural area in Pennsylvania. I didn't, I didn't say that in my long uh, <laughs> epilogue there, but um, I, um, I grew up in a rural area in Pennsylvania. So um, rural, um, rural patients are always at the forefront of my heart and mind. So I, I specifically honed in on those people um, because they are in such a high need um, situation with such limited resources. And, um, and honestly, I've just never looked back. We then asked Dr. Alonso what was the difference between urban and rural areas. So, um, so interestingly, a lot of the studies that I have done um, to this point have been rural urban comparisons of, you know, things that outcomes, um, but the things that I like the most, the studies that I have enjoyed the most are actually the qualitative studies where we're calling and interviewing people and just getting their perspective. Um, one of the big differences between um, rural patients that I, that in this may be, I'm, I, I recognize that I'm completely biased as someone who grew up in a rural area. <laughs> but uh, I find that the rural patients, um, they, they will end up hospitalized because they don't want to bother anybody. Um, they, they don't want to call and, and tell us about their symptoms. They don't want to, they, they, they recognize that providers are busy. Um, you know, they, or they feel like they can take care of themselves or like, nah, I'm fine. Um, one thing that is, has always been interesting to me is that they, they don't necessarily recognize that there is a lack of access to services because it's just the way it is. I think there's a lot of challenges for researchers. COVID has impacted our ability to recruit, to intervene. That another interesting dichotomy between rural and urban patients, I find, is that the rural patients, they, they'll volunteer to do whatever you ask them to do. They say yes more often. They answer their phones when you call. Um, it's just, it's interesting. Um, trying to convince even 40 people to just answer your questions and talk to you it can be really difficult. Um, and I think getting grant funding is always hard. Everything always takes longer than you expect it to. Um, to finish the interview, we asked Dr. Alonzo what were some of her biggest accomplishments. To conclude, Dr. Alonzo is currently starting a new research in Lexington and Kearney, Nebraska. She will be studying exercise in rural patients with heart failure 
In order for patients to be enrolled in the study, they must undergo cardiopulmonary testing, and it is not a service that is available everywhere. However, Dr. Alonzo is beyond excited to achieve another major accomplishment.